Hi students, today we discuss about fifth year group of elements. The topic is oxo acids of nitrogen. There are four types. First one is H2N2O, hypo nitrous acid. Second one HNO2, nitrous acid. Third one HNO3, nitric acid. HNO4, per nitric acid. H2N2O2, hyponitrous acid. HNO2, nitrous acid. HNO3, nitric acid. HNO4, per nitric acid. Among them, HNO3 is most important. First of all, let us discuss about preparation of nitric acid. Formula HNO3. In laboratory method. HNO3 is prepared by the action of potassium nitrate or sodium nitrate with a concentrated H2SO4. So we should write H plus HNO3 can be prepared by the action of potassium nitrate with the concentrated concentrated H2SO4. Here is K plus and HSO4 minus. So we get KHSO4 potassium bisulfate. So the remaining what H plus and NO3 minus. So we get HNO3. And one more reaction, sodium nitrate NNO3 plus H plus plus HSO4 minus H plus and HSO4 minus H plus and NO3 minus HNO3 Na plus HSO4 minus sodium bisulfate plus HNO3. So this is about preparation of HNO3. Okay. Then next. HNO3 can be manufactured by the Ostwald's process. Ostwald's process. Ostwald's process. Here the Ostwald's process is based on Ostwald's process is based on catalytical oxidation of ammonia by the atmospheric oxygen. Here is the reactions. First one is 4 moles of NH3, 5 moles of oxygen gives rise to 4 moles of NO plus 6 moles of water. So that is platinum or rhodium at 500 Kelvin temperature and 9 bar pressure is utilized for this preparation of NO. 4 moles of ammonia, 5 moles of oxygen to give 4 moles of NO. So the first step. Second step. Nitric oxide. Okay. Nitric oxide combined with oxygen gives rise to nitrogen dioxide. Here is 2 moles of nitric oxide, 2 moles of nitrogen dioxide. 2 oxygens plus 2 oxygen, 4 oxygens, 2 to the 4 oxygens, and 2 nitrogen, 2 nitrogen. This is a balanced equation. This is about second step. And third step, that is a preparation of HNO3. NO2, that is nitrogen dioxide. Nitrogen dioxide dissolved water to give HNO3 plus nitric oxide 3 moles and here it is 2 moles 
three nitrogens, two, ni two nitrogens plus one, three nitrogens, two hydrogens, two hydrogens, three to the six, three to the six, one oxygen, one oxygen, totally seven oxygens. So this is about Ostwald's process preparation of HNO3. Here, HNO3 in this process. 61 percentage of HNO3 is obtained. That is crude HNO3. Here the crude HNO3 is concentrated in three stages. First one is 61 percentage of HNO3. 61 percent of HNO3 distillated. Distillated. So we get 68% of HNO3. 61% of HNO3 distillated until 68% of HNO3 is obtained. Second stage 68% of HNO3 HNO3 Mixed with concentrated H2SO4. Mixed with concentrated H2SO4. And again distillated, again distillated, 98% of HNO3 is obtained. So lastly, there is third point, there is a third stage. 98% of HNO3. 98% of HNO3 cooled in freezing mixture cooled in freezing mixture we get 100% of HNO3 that is 100% of pure crystals of HNO3 is separate out so this is about 100% of HNO3 so, first of all, 61% of HNO3 distillated, 68% of HNO3 is obtained. Second step, 68% of HNO3 mixed with concentrated HBSO4. We get 98% of HNO3. 98% of HNO3 cooled in freezing mixture to get or to give. 100% of HNO3. So this is about preparation of HNO3 and concentration of HNO3. Is properties. Properties of HNO3. HNO3 is dissolving water or easily dissolving water. To give H3O plus plus NO3 minus. Hence it is acidic in nature because of H3O plus ion. HNO3 plus water gives rise to hydronium ion. Hydronium ion plus nitrate ion. Hence it is acidic nature in aqueous solutions. Next one is metals. Iron, chromium, nickel, aluminium. Okay. Iron, that is Fe, chromium, nickel, Ni, aluminium, Al, does not dissolve in concentrated HNO3. Does not dissolve in, does not dissolve in. Dissolving concentrated HNO3 because because are due to formation of passing film of oxides on their surfaces. Hence, does not dissolve in concentrated HNO3. And next up, all metals are react with concentrated HNO3, but not. 
Yale and uh, platinum does not react with HNO3. These metals are called as noble metals. What is that? Noble metals. HNO3 is strong oxidizing agent. HNO3 is strong oxidizing oxidizing agent. It oxidizes all metals but not A and plant. Here some reactions are given to you. First of all, copper. Copper plus nitric acid. Only it, it is concentrated. Gives rise to copper nitrate plus nitrogen dioxide plus water. Four moles of HNO3, two moles of NO2, two moles of water. It is balanced equation with concentrated HNO3. Next, three moles of copper, eight moles of HNO3. It is dilute HNO3. Three moles of CuNO3. Take it twice plus N2O plus water. Here, for 8 moles of hydrogen, is a 4 moles, 3 to the 6, and 2 moles of nitrogen. Copper react with dilute HNO3 to give, especially N2O. N2O is known as nitrous. Okay, it is nitrous oxide. Next, gel with concentrated HNO3. Here is a four moles, it is a concentrated HNO3 giving rise to zinc nitrate. Gel NO3, second moles, plus nitrogen dioxide. Plus water. It is a two moles nitrogen dioxide and two moles of water. Zinc react with concentrated nitric acid gives rise to especially nitrogen dioxide. Okay. Next, zinc plus four moles zinc ten moles of HNO three. It is diluted giving rise to 4 moles of zinc nitrate plus NO plus water ZN plus HNO3 gives rise to zinc nitrate and N2 sorry here is NO sorry 2 moles of NO here is N2 the five moles. Zinc react with dilute HNO3 gives rise to zinc nitrate plus nitrous. It is nitric, sorry, nitric oxide. It is nitrous. Nitric and nitrous oxides. This are what these are most important for J mains questions. Copper dilute HNO3 gives rise to nitric oxide. Zn dilute HNO3 nitrous. And some more examples for the oxidizing properties of HNO3. Iodine oxidizes to iodic acid. Iodine to iodic acid. Iodic acid formula HIO3 plus nitrogen dioxide plus water. 
2 moles of HiO3. Here is a 10 moles of 10 moles of HiO3 and 4 moles of water. Iodine to ionic acid. Next. Carbon plus nitrogen. Carbon plus HNO3 gives rise to carbon dioxide plus nitrogen dioxide plus water. It is a 2 moles of nitrogen dioxide and 2 moles of water. In this reaction, carbon oxidizes to carbon dioxide. Next, sulfur. S8. Sulfur exists in S8 molecule. 48 moles of HNO3 giving rise to 8 moles of sulfuric acid plus 48 moles of nitro dioxide and 60 moles of water. Sulfur oxidized to sulfuric acid and phosphorus plus 20 moles of HNO3 gives rise to phosphoric acid. Here is the 4 moles of H3PO4 plus 20 moles of nitrogen dioxide plus water. 4, 3 is a 12 and 4. Okay, this is about oxidizing properties of HNO3. Iodine to iodic acid. Carbon to carbon dioxide. S8 sulfur to H2SO4, phosphorus to phosphoric acid. Here iodine to iodic acid, carbon to carbon dioxide, sulfur to sulfuric acid, phosphorus to phosphoric acid. So all these are oxidizing reactions of HNO3. Next one is brown ring test. Okay, students, brown ring test. Brown ring test is the most important test to identify the nitrate ions in aqueous solutions. First of all, this test is usually carried out by addition of ferrous sulfate solution. Freshly prepared ferrous sulfate solution, freshly prepared ferrous sulfate solution to the solution containing nitrate ion and addition of concentrated H2SO4 on the walls of the glass tube. After, after that, the brown ring is formed. The brown ring is formed in between two layers. Here is, if you take a test tube, the first solution is Freshly prepared ferrous sulfate solution. Next, the solution contains nitrate MO3 minus and addition of concentrated H2SO4 to the solution. The brown ring is formed in between the two layers. Here, the reaction is first one NO3 minus plus Fe plus 2 plus. 4H plus gives rise to NO plus Fe plus 3 plus 4, sorry, 2 moles of H2O. Here is nitrate ion to NO, that is nitric oxide, Fe plus 2 to Fe plus 3. Here is 3 moles and 3 moles. Next up, Fe H2O taken 6 plus 2. Plus 2. Hexa aqua iron second. Addition with NO giving rise to FeH2O taken 5 NO plus 2 plus water. So this is this is brown ring formula. This is brown ring formula. Penta aqua penta aqua nitrosyl. Iron second. Penta aqua nitrosyl 
iron second this is the most important question for j mains this is about browning test once again freshly prepared ferrous sulfate solution addition to the aqueous solution containing nitrate ions so we get no the next what the reaction is takes place feh2 taken 6 plus 2 plus no gives stress to feh2 taken 5 no plus 2 plus what is it it is brown ring formula okay next one is use of hno3 uses of hno it is used for manufacturing of nitrogenous fertilizers nitrogenous fertilizers like calcium nitrate calcium nitrate ca no3 taken twice ammonium nitrate that is nh4 no3 is the first and next one is tnt tnt it is used for explosive substances like tnt Tri nitro toluene. What is that? Tri nitro toluene. Tri nitro toluene. Okay. These are the uses of HMO. Yeah. So far, a couple of days think about it. 